person. You are too gracious, my lady. It, it really shall do for now. You have captured the very image of King Desmond. Even though it's so long since his death, I still miss his friendship. Yes. We can only imagine the sorrow his widow, Queen Eleonora, must feel. But enough of these sad thoughts, Merlin. This is the time to celebrate Eleonora's Silver Jubilee. And this wondrous creation of yours is designed to be a gift which will bring happiness, not sadness. Ah, here it is. <sighs> Eleonora is my dearest friend. It's been such a long time since I've seen her. I do hope I find her well and happy. May your journey to Arcadia be without incident, Your Majesty. Don't worry, Merlin. Arthur has seen to it that I will be traveling in good company. So I've heard. So, a silver jubilee is held for an anniversary of 25 years? That's right, Arne. And a golden jubilee is held for an anniversary of 50 years. And a diamond jubilee is to celebrate an anniversary of 60 years. 60 years? Are there monarchs who have actually ruled for so long? Just and fair monarchs tend to rule far longer than the others. And King Arthur is destined to rule the longest of them all. What a kind thought, Arne. Milady, we didn't hear you approach. We've been keeping watch for movement from without the camp. Not within. Please, be seated again. I didn't mean to startle you. With the Arcadia Sentry Tower so close, we have little to fear from intruders. I hope we didn't disturb you with our conversation. Not at all. It's just that after so many days of travel, knowing that tomorrow I will once again see Eleonora, I find myself almost like a child. Too excited to sleep. If I may ask, my lady, how long has it been since you last saw her? Too long, I fear. Not since her husband's funeral. Ten long years ago. Yet the Queen and I have known each other since we were children. I've known Rowan and Arne for less than two years, and our friendship feels so strong already. I can scarcely imagine it any stronger. You are too young to know, Valiant. The people often change as they grow older. And I cannot help but wonder if Eleanor and I will still be the friends we once were. Merlin told me that the signal fires atop these towers can relay messages across Arcadia faster than a bird can fly. Why are there no such towers in Camelot? Camelot is much larger than Arcadia. It wouldn't be practical there. And how did you come by that information? You're not the only one who talks to Merlin. That is the third dwelling destroyed by fire we have seen today. Perhaps the sentry towers do not offer as much protection from intruders as we might think. From the court of Camelot, Her Most Serene Highness, Queen Guinevere. You may approach the throne. I bring warmest greetings to this court from His Most Royal Majesty, Arthur of Camelot. The crown is honored by such greetings. They're acting as if they've never seen each other before. Shh, Arn. Don't you know court manners when you see them? Lord Chamberlain, I grow weary and wish to retire to my sitting chambers. As you wish, my lady. Oh, and see if that group from Camelot would care to join me. Excuse me, my lady. The visitors. Gwyn! Nora! 
You look wonderful. It's been so oh, long. You haven't changed at I haven't changed. Look at you at last. Now that's <laughs> more like it. One can only wonder what she has to be so happy about. If you will excuse us. I get the feeling there are dark secrets in this sunny kingdom of Arcadia. you the queen would think of nothing but her jubilee she is leaving us no choice but what we are planning to do it is treason is it treason to save a kingdom abandoned by its monarch we must do it and we must do it now no matter the cost yes i think it's time for us to begin unraveling some of the mysteries of arcadia Laura, it's the most exquisite garden I've ever seen. And you have a reflecting pool, just like the one at, at Castle Longwood. <laughs> Do you remember that horrid little boy we met there one summer? The Duke of Greywood. Yes, and I remember that we threw him into that lovely pool with all his clothes on. <laughs> Do you remember how we used to play in the pool at Lockwood? Dare we? No one can see us. Sometimes I catch sight of myself and think, where did that old woman come from? Wasn't it just a few days ago she was a little girl playing in the garden with little Gwen? You're not old, Nora. Not you. You know, Gwen, on the inside I don't feel grown up at all. I still feel like a giddy, frightened little girl. Some days I feel just the same. Your Excellencies! Your Excellencies, a moment, please. They are from Camelot. Tell them nothing. Forgive my interruption. I am... We know who you are, Prince Valiant. I am Lord Algar, and this is my sister, the Lady Glenellen. What is it you want from us? My friends and I are eager to learn more about Arcadia. We've never seen another realm so much like Camelot. Our King Desmond was a close friend of King Arthur's. They share the same dreams. But our king is long dead, and his dreams die with him. I'm curious, Lady Glen Ellen. How is it that such destruction can occur with so many sentry towers so nearby? If you wish to know about the farmhouses, I suggest you ask the person responsible, Queen Eleonora. While I follow those two, you and Rowan go back to the castle and find out anything you can about them. Remember how dashing he was? And Arthur, remember how they would come to call on us together? Life was so sweet back then, wasn't it? So full of promise. But surely life is still good. Surely it still holds promise. Yes, Gwyn. Of course it does. Sir Mordred, we are in desperate need of help. How wise you were to come to me. Mordred. Produces such a strong flame with so few sparks. Aye, it was designed special by King Desmond himself. <laughs> when it came to controlling fire, <laughs> he was a genius, he was. It's a shame that others in Arcadia do not handle fire as skillfully. 
We have seen many burned out dwellings in the countryside. Those fires were no accidents. For royal punishments. Punishments? For what? Huh, all manner of things. It, it don't take much. Go read the proclamations, lad. I got me work to do. This is terrible. This must be the reason for Lord Algar's and Lady Glenellan's hatred of Queen Eleonora. She is ordering people to be banished from the kingdom without a trial, and then decreeing that their property be destroyed by fire. But even King Arthur sometimes banishes criminals from Camelot for the good of the realm and the safety of its citizens. Believe me, Valiant, there is no good served by what is in those scrolls. <laughs> What is it that you feel so important that you take me away from Eleonora's banquet, Valiant? My queen, as your escort appointed by King Arthur, I am duty-bound to tell you that there may be danger for you in this realm. Danger? In a realm that is the mirror image of Camelot? Your Majesty, Queen Eleonora's mistreatment of her people is leading to civil unrest. Impossible. Eleonora rules just as her husband did before her, just as Arthur does today. Queen Eleonora is banishing her subjects for the smallest of crimes. Rowan read those proclamations to me. Here, being late with grain taxes caused one man to have his farm burned. Gathering in groups to discuss the rulings of the crown cost others the same fate. There must be some reasonable explanation for all of this. But whatever it may be, this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. I can't blame Queen Guinevere for not wanting to believe that her oldest and dearest friend is capable of such cruelty. No, but we still must find out exactly what sort of trouble is brewing within Arcadia. And what evil parts her Mordred plans to have in it. It's taken most of the night, but I think we are finally making progress. The final line of sentry towers is laid out along this ridge, and this is where I saw Lord Algar and Lady Glenellan ride into Mordred's camp. Any attack from the direction of his camp would be seen by these towers and no others. And we have learned that the troops who are stationed at three towers are employed by Algar and Glenellan. In order to withdraw the troops from those three towers would leave the entire kingdom open to an invasion by Mordred's army, especially if the invasion came this evening while Queen Eleanor's jubilee is being celebrated. And why should anyone give such an order? Because Queen Eleanor dispenses justice without mercy. Please, my lady, you must speak with her. You must find out why she has moved so far away from the ideals her husband shared with King Arthur. Valiant, you are asking me to insult one of my dearest friends. It pains me to say it, Your Majesty, but Queen Eleonora may no longer be fit to rule. Look at me, I'm like a child with a new toy. I'm so glad it pleases you. I know that tone, Gwyn. Something's bothering you. There are rumors, Eleonora, that your realm is not at peace, that many of your subjects are not pleased with the way you enforce the laws. I enforce the laws exactly as Desmond set them down 25 years ago. They are the exact same laws Arthur laid down in Camelot when he first took office. But Arthur never enforced the breaking of those laws so harshly, and if the laws were found to be unjust, they were changed. I know how hard it must be without Desmond. I know that he was the person of vision in your union just as Arthur is in mine. And I know how hard I would find it if I would ever have to rule alone without his vision to guide me. We must always be open to learn from the past, to improve the future. 
Who are you, pampered Guinevere, to tell me how to behave? I have had to rule this land alone for ten long years. Without Desmond and his laws to guide me, I must do what I think is best to protect his kingdom. Nora, perhaps, perhaps it's time to change some of those laws. Change Desmond's laws? Betray his memory? Never! How dare you, Queen? I thought you were my friend. Instead, you seek my ruin just like Algar and Glen Ellen. No, Nora, please. I am your friend. You must listen. You may be making a mistake which could cost you your life. Get out! Get out now! Oh, Your Majesty. All festivities planned for the Jubilee are to be stopped immediately. My lady, I... The Jubilee is cancelled. The Crown has more important matters to consider. Have you finally decided to consider the welfare of your people, Your Majesty? Your traitorous impertinence has become intolerable, Glen Ellen. Arrest this woman and her brother! The charge is treason! It has begun. Arn, Rowan, attend our queen. Henceforth, Algar and Glen Ellen shall be stripped of their titles. Any property they own is to be consumed by fire, and they shall forever be banished from this realm. She leaves them with no choice but to ally themselves with Mordred. You must convince her to withdraw the verdict. She won't listen to me anymore, Valiant. I instruct you to do what is necessary to ensure that justice is served. I demand that you release these prisoners. Algar and Glen Ellen are my subjects. You have no authority over them, Prince Valiant. You banished them from your kingdom, Your Majesty. I am offering them sanctuary in Camelot, where they may find justice. Arrest this one as well! I am afraid that I shall have to defy you once more, Your Majesty. Arrest him, I said! <gasps> Courtyard is that way. We can't let them ride to the border to alert Mordred. But they ran that way. The signal fires. <gasps> Stop. I cannot allow you to signal Mordred. You'll not be able to stop both of us with a single arrow. Don't be so sure. Are you really willing to die for this? I am willing to die to save Arcadia from Eleonora's tyranny. Even if it means handing your country over to the likes of Mordred? After a few more years of Eleonora's iron-handed rule, our people's spirit will be so broken that it won't matter who our ruler is. At least with Mordred, we have hope. Am I really that terrible? Have I gone so wrong that you would willingly ally yourself with such a monster? At least Mordred listens to us. And he's promised us a voice in deciding what's best for the kingdom. All they're asking for, Nora, is what we wanted when we were young. A chance to shape the future. Remember how it felt, Nora? To be young and full of hope? Oh, Gwyn, I have forgotten. Look at what I've become. I thought I was preserving Desmond's dream. And all that I was doing was trapping Arcadia in the past. You tried to tell me, and I wouldn't listen. I'm so sorry. Come, talk to me. I am ready to listen. I am proud of you, my friend. So very proud. The signal is not lit, sire. I can see that, you fool. Give the order to strike the camp, and know that Arthur's hand is somehow behind this.
Is it done? For now. Oh, Merlin, thank you so much for coming. It was truly wondrous before, but now... Now it is doubly so. Yes. Sometimes it is on the winds of change that we hear life's sweetest melodies. <laughs>